Good morning, everybody! I can't believe I actually get to wake up in Athens, Greece and call it my home for the semester. I have loved every single thing I've done, and I wanted to take you guys along with me for a day in my life studying abroad at the American College of Greece, also known as Tari. I'm running severely late for my last class. Well, it's my first class of my last day of classes. She said we would have class at 9 20, and then was just like, okay, just kidding, 8 30. So, walk into class now. It's a good thing I'm only like a six minute walk to class. Six to ten minutes, depending how fast I run. So the first thing I do is say hi to the school pups and then I embark on my journey up these stairs. The American College of Greece, I think now referred to as the American University of Greece, but it has multiple schools and they have a high school and I believe a middle school, but the university itself is called Dari, which is what most people here refer to it as. This is the worst part about having classes on a hill. You have to walk up 30,000 flights of stairs. But look at the pretty view. It is currently empty because I'm 30 minutes late for class. Last day of classes. So first up is international organizations, which I found so interesting learning political science from a different perspective. Overall, I ended up taking four classes and one lab, which totaled to 13 credits this semester since each class is worth three credits. This was my intro to video course, which was an amazing creative outlet for me, but I wanted to take a second to talk about how much I adored Greece. Up until we met, I'd only heard about finding a place that just felt right in your heart, and this was it for me. Of course, there were adjustments, and I was in a little study abroad bubble, but I adored my time, and I loved it so much here. I'm so sorry, this was so cheesy and sappy, but I just had to tell y'all. So I'm done my first two classes. It's my last day of classes, so it's super sad. I turned in my final video project for my intro to video class, and it was like really sad, just being like, bye, thank you for a great semester. It's sad because I'm like leaving, and I'm not gonna like see them around. Like that was a communications building. This is the house of the president here, I believe. Not quite sure. This is the long way that like no one really takes because you're literally walking like up and down a mountain. I thought for my last day of classes that I would walk this way because it is my first day and I am completely lost. I am literally in a mountain somewhere. And for the first like three weeks of classes, I went up this way because I thought that that was how you get to the building. Turns out there was a shortcut that I never knew of until like a month into classes. There is the football field and then the pool. You see the little thing of blue over there and you see like the mountains and everything and it's just beautiful. I'm literally just, this is like where I go to class. Like that's, I'm still in awe and I'm so sad to be leaving. And I really wanna come back here. Last day of classes, I have two more and then I'm gonna have to study because I have an exam tomorrow. I might go out tonight, maybe, but I know I probably shouldn't because I have exams, but it is one of like the last couple days here, so. I'm walking back to my dorm. So I finished all my classes. I had bio last. I have lab tomorrow for my exam. But it's like the last class and it was really sad. But I'm walking back to my dorm. I'm gonna eat and then head back to school to go to the library to study. I have way too much stuff just thrown in here, so I'm gonna organize her.
While a lot of study abroad people I knew had 6 to 12 roommates crammed into a tiny apartment, I lucked out so much and only had 3 roommates in this massive apartment with a brand new kitchen where I made the struggle meal almost every day. And it is definitely why I gained 20 pounds while studying abroad, but the amazing food was so worth it. And I know this looks like a really weird recipe, but trust me, it was so good. And everything was just so much better over there, like the pasta was just so much better in Europe. Just got done therapy. I'm heading back to the library now. I caught up with my roommate who just got back from her spring break. Now I have to cram for my exam tomorrow. I basically lived in this library. It was so pretty and way prettier than my home campus library. And I didn't even come here all the time to study. Like if I had anything to do, I would just come in here to do it. And yes, I fell asleep while trying to study, but it's okay. I eventually started studying for my bio exam. This is, I don't remember what this is, but yeah. Um, vertebrae and stuff. I finished at 8 p.m. and ended up just calling it a night. I was so over it and tired at this point. But what you guys don't know is that I'm gonna go home and then go out for another five hours. This is the main lot that everyone has to walk through in order to get to classes. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's so pretty. Like I love the trees and there's so much nature involved in this campus and it's just gorgeous. I came when there was light and now it is like dark. On the way home, going to eat dinner and then study some more. So for dinner, I just quickly made some soba buckwheat noodles with eggs and veggies, and I had that with this delicious orange soda. Nana! <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We're getting ready for bills! What's bills? Explain it in one word. <laughs> this is me getting ready for beach night at the local bar that everyone goes to on campus. Tenzin! I don't think I like my eyeliner. Should I change it? This looks so much better. <laughs> Thank you for following along a day in my life. Now it's time to go to bed.